All right, we can start. Can you not? That's right, because Daddy's a dancer and he dances a lot. Did I say hot? I meant not. Erroneous! Erroneous on both counts! Like, what goes on? I make the motherfucker one day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate the yes. We're going to have to come up with something new. Welcome to another episode of the What Goes On Podcast. I am your co-host, Juan Antonio, a.k.a. Antoine 9000, a.k.a. Captain Passion, a.k.a. King Thick, a.k.a. Supreme Leader. Okay. <laughs> with the one and only, my co-host, my compatriot. Uh, she happens to be the daughter of my mother and also my mother's husband's daughter as well. Yeah. Uh, Amanda Marie. What's up, kid? Ah, I don't know what it is about today, but Baba is feeling good. I mean, I feel so good. I don't. Yeah. Maybe it could be the bottle of liquor I'm well, maybe drinking. I need some more. Okay, well. Well, we had to start with that song because, as you guys probably out. know, I mean, by the time that this airs, I mean. Hopefully, by the time that this air, you know, I don't even know. Hopefully, he's regained yeah, conscience because... and he's doing great. But as of right now, which is about a week before you guys will actually hear this, he apparently, and by he, I mean DMX. Shout Rough out. as DMX, okay? Fucking the OG. Shout out. Okay? Apparently, he suffered an overdose and OG. is in a um, vegetative state. Oh. And the doctors are saying hey, that vegetables. it's not looking good. I recently read that they took him off life support, and while although he is breathing on his own, oh, fuck, it looks like news. there's it's brain news, stuff, so well, we don't really do know. Do? Well, right. yeah, guys, I, I, I know this is a little bit close. To, I mean, not that close. It's not like, you know, how I felt with Michael Jackson, obviously, because I was distraught. But DMX was a kind of music that we, it was around the time that we grew up we on. We grew up. We had it to was hear all that, that shit. It was, we didn't it was, know what he was talking about, but we listened to the not. shit. No, for sure. It was it was it was Aaliyah, it was Eve, it was Rough Riders, it was fucking DMX, mm -hmm. and we were little kids. We were way too young to be listening to it, but we listened to it. Well, you can on thank MTV. our sister for that. Shout out Lynette. Shout out Elise. Loves DMX. Uh, we're thinking about you tonight in, this long, in the in the dark hours. Oh my god! Hopefully Wait he pulls second. out. Wait a second. What? Did Elise was Elise wait obsessed obsessed with Rough Riders? Elise was no wait. Why does she lose everyone she's obsessed with? I Why does it happen like that? I'll never forget. I'll never forget. Oh, when Aaliyah died, Aaliyah. it was. Oh, forget it, it. I thought so. Oh, I forget thought. It. No, forget it. I you would have thought. You would have thought Elise's best friend in the whole world would have died. That, the way that she cried. I was with her that hysterical. night. Hysterical. I was. It was me and her. We were babysitting our little cousin Viviana because Viviana's mom and my sister were going out. Right. So we stayed at the house. This was a hundred years. Think about when Aaliyah died. What was that? Oh, one. When 90, did she die? Oh, one. I think she died. Nine oh, or three. Maybe something like that. Before. Oh, okay. Maybe it was seven. I don't know. But uh, I was like, Elise. Brutal. No, I thought I was going to have to call the ambulance. I was like, Elise is going to need a fucking respirator because she can't even deal. Brutal. She was so sad. Destruct. And I remember she loved the Rough Riders. So she's yeah. really, yeah. Shout she's out like, Eve. Wow. Let's not lose Eve because she's Eve. the last one. Big time shout out to we Eve. Love Eve. Eve. We love Eve. love Eve. Okay. Yeah. Shout out um, uh, uh, Dr. Doolittle and, uh, fr and next Friday. All right. She was in right. both. Right. Eve was or Leah? Uh, Eve. Okay, you're jumping. Aaliyah down. wasn't in anything. Because Aaliyah she... wasn't in Dr. Dr. She was in Romeo Must Die. There she was. There she was. She was on the soundtrack of Dr. Doolittle. She was. She was. Somebody. See? Somebody. She was in the somebody. Dr. Doolittle fucking soundtrack. Told you. Sound somebody. Soundtrack, not the movie. Anyway, yeah, so it's just, you know, we're starting off with a somber note, but hopefully, when, by the time it's posted, it goes, oh, remember that close call with DMX? I know. Luckily, he's good. I know. It's not looking good right now, but you just got to think positive. Positive thoughts bring, breed positive uh, All right, uh, so actions. I wasn't going to talk about it, but Jumping because, right in, huh? What a treat. Go well, ahead. because of the, 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 light, you know, the overdose um, situation with DMX, so last, so a couple of years ago, I was dating the fucking asshole. And um, I am. I introduced my best friend at the time, who will remain nameless for HIPAA reasons. <laughs> um, we introduced my best friend, me and my boyfriend, to um, 
somebody he worked with in the military to this guy. Like, they dated for a couple of months. I didn't like him. I didn't like him for her because everybody knew what it was about. Wait. He was a little motherfucking fuck boy. Yeah? Who'd you like to know? Are we talking about... Yeah. About... Yeah. Because we're talking about overdoses. And oh, I feel well, like it's hey, relevant, don't you think? I, I love it. Okay. Well, I don't love it, but... I, feel I like love it, but I love it. But I feel like it's a segue into it. It's, it's like, beautiful. how can I not bring it up now that right. we're on the topic? So... Shoot. They had it. We had introduced them. They had vibed or whatever. Obviously, because my close friend at the time is like amazing, and she can vibe with anyone because she's just a nice fucking girl. So Your grandma and my grandma. So I personally didn't like him, and every time we hung out, we bumped head a lot, heads a lot but for whatever heads. reason that was. I think it was because he was like a smart ass, and I was a smart ass. Double smart. So ass. we would always like have to be the last word or right. I would say something and then he would say something slick and right. whatever. So they ended you. up stuck talking. She dated someone else. They recently broke up and she relinked with this person. And she oh. had been dating him for probably like the past two months. So oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. To the point where I had remember you know how Stella got her group back the episode. So that guy was over one night and I had told my best friend I was like, oh come over. And she was like, oh so and so really wants to hang out. I'm like whatever tell him to come over she's like you sure because he was friends with your ex and oh, he so, might feel weird and i'm like who cares tell him so, that i'm here with my new man so and she then, was taken aback because you said just fucking bring him even though you guys yeah, because static because of your previous oh but i don't the thing is like a i don't care like i want my best friend to be like vibing right. with her person I'll be a open, fun night double I'll, double, it, double honestly, rickies double i feel day. like crying because it was a good night like we played uno we drank Love we listened uno. to music we had such a good time. Can I, can I tell you something about Uno? Sure. That's going to rock your... It's going to shatter rock your it, world. Rock it. It's going to rock your... Rock it's gonna it, shatter your, It's going to shatter your existence. Here we go. I hate to say this to you, and I hate to break it to you like this alive tell on me. air. You can't put a... You can't put a draw four on top of a draw four. I don't know. Listen... If no, you, no, no! Uno has come out... But and has what? declared that. I don't care. It's my house, my rules. There it so is. If hey, that's, if that's, and there it is. So, so Uno, if you have an issue, talk. you can tag talk her. Shout out. If you're at my house, we play the way we shout, want. But also, but also shout out Uno. Big time shout out. We love you, Uno. So we he came over. We we, we went outside. We smoked a cigarette. And we kind of had like an aha moment, like a little bit. And we talked a little bit. And it was like the first time in a while that I was actually able to tolerate him. And he was like cool and... Whatever, blah blah blah. It was it was a good night. So then, a week later, I go out to Patchog. I we run in, me and my best friend run into him and one of his friends. And um, I said to him, I go, you know what's so crazy? Like, I really believe you when you said that you didn't because he, the girl, my best friend, the guy that she's talking to now, he's good friends with my ex boyfriend, the asshole. Got it. So I was a little weary about having him come over to my house with my new dude because Got I'm it. like, I don't want him reaching out to him. You know, I don't reaching want it to be a whole thing. Reaching out. It doesn't reaching out. matter. Like that me and that guy are not together anymore, but you know how that goes. Oh, right. you're hanging with him. You know, I'm just, ugh, I don't right. want it. So I pulled him to the side that night and I sure. said, listen, I go, you know what's so crazy? He hit me up. He called me. He told me he missed me and all this stuff. I go, but he didn't mention all of us hanging out at my house. He goes, well, why would he? I didn't tell him about it. And I was like, and I believe that. I was like, honestly, I was like, I, you've earned like so much of my respect. Like, I didn't think that you would do that. He was like, I don't need to earn your respect. I go, no, I'm not saying you needed to. I'm saying that you did. And we like pounded it out. And it was like a weird moment where we kind of like almost like called it a truce where we where I actually like trusted him. And I was like, okay. So I, I see what's happening here. My best friend comes over here really like, it was like a whole thing and it was cute. And then two weeks later, it's my really good friend. She's at a family event. The same really good friend? Yeah. Who's yeah. dating the guy who yeah. now you have a truce with. Yeah. Got it. Because so I'm like, all right. So she told me, she was like, oh, like he's leaving because he had to I move know out this, of the state. I know this, but I'm just going to put it together. No, that's fine. So he's moving out of state because he's also in the military and he's getting stationed oh, somewhere else. Well, obviously, if he's my ex's friend from work, he's obviously in the military too. Good point. So he was the moving military. out of state. So we were like, listen, we're going to hang. She told me, she's like, we're going to hang out with him and his friends on either Friday night or Saturday night. Gotcha. She's like, I'll probably see him both nights. But the night that we go out, we don't know what day it's going to be yet. So she had a family event on Saturday in Patchogue. So, uh, on Friday in Patchogue. So she's 
She's having the time of her life at this family event. Oh, praise be. I'm I'm looking at all her stories, all her Snapchats. Praise They're all God. dancing, living, singing, breathing. Everything's great. And I get a call from my ex. What the fuck? So-and-so is dead? Talking about the guy now that my ex introduced to my best friend. And the one that my best friend is now talking to. I go, what? Oh, no, he's dead. I go, what the fuck are you actually talking about? What are you actually talking Like, I couldn't even... I couldn't even, it took me a while to even understand like the words that were coming out of his mouth. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I'm like, what are you even saying? He's like, no, all my army buddies, this, this, that, and the third, he's gone. So we're talking more and he's telling me more details, which I'll spare for reasons of sparing. And um, I just, it was so upsetting. So that was like at 10 o'clock. So Whoa. at 10.45, I text a message to the friend. I go, hey, how's it going? She's like, it's ending. And I keep calling so-and-so. The guy who's dead. And he's not picking up. Brutal. At this point, I have the information. What do you do at that point? Mm -hmm. What would you do? Would you say, hey, listen, he's dead. I mean, what do you do? <laughs> She just had it a depends. beautiful day okay. with one of her family is. members' weddings. They're drunk. Here They're having an amazing Here time. I was Here like... Is. This is what I would do. Would it you? depends on who is dead. It also depends on who I'm telling mm -hmm. or who the person is. If it's you, uh, it, it, uh, it, you, it, it's you, all it depends. Right. If you're drinking, I'm probably not telling you. Right. Because right. you have a history right. of... Doing irrational things, right? Right. right. Accurate, right? Right. Train tracks, yeah. tree, flipping it's me, the car, John, hello, John, it me. dead, okay. right? Right. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. But if you're sober, I'm gonna tell you. And if it's someone who I deem, um, I don't want to be uh, mean, but mm -hmm. you, you done there? Yeah. It's, but that was like, it doesn't. You made it worse by stabbing. I. That's my, that's a point. It's, it's to show you how how ridiculous it's you are. It's stupid. You're stupid. But here we are. <laughs> it depends on who it is. It depends on if I think that they can handle it. So if I tell you something really bad, it means that I deem you a higher being. Otherwise, so he's not telling me for days, by the way. Right, right. Because right. someone who can internalize say, okay, this is that. It might bring me down a little bit, but I'm not going to do something irrational or ridiculous. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it depends who I'm going to deliver the news to. And it depends on the relationship between the two people. You know what I mean? It was hard. It was tragic. So my heart broke. So I said, listen, oh, I go, I know he's not answering. It's fine. Listen, you're drunk. You had a great day. I said, go to sleep. If she was sober, we'll would you have told her immediately? There was a couple of things it was, that it was, played it was like into a it. Tuesday here's night and she main, had work in the, the morning. Main, here's you know? are the main points that, that played into it. A, it was her sister's wedding. Her twin sister. Oh. They had a beautiful day, number one. Number two, I have my son at the house with me. Had my son not been with me, I would have hopped in the car and probably drove to her because that's how like important right. I thought that it was. Number three, she was drunk. So there was a couple of different factors a lot that were of mitigating circumstances. into it that I was kind of like, this right. isn't the best time. Right. So I said, listen, boo, go to sleep. We'll hang go out to sleep. tomorrow. Yeah. Go to sleep, my little darling? Yes. Right. Because I was like, listen, you had a beautiful day. You're drunk. Go right. home. Good night. Right. The right. next morning, 930 in the morning, my ex calls me again. I have an update. Now we find out a couple of other things that I'm going to spare for, you know, right. a couple of things that we knew that happened in the night. So mm. I'm on the phone with him while I'm texting her and I go, hey, love, what are you doing? Come over. Good Nine, 922 Good. in the morning. Because Good. now I know... There's Good never Lord. a right time. There's she never a right shout out Chris time Brown. to say it. Shout no, we're not going to shout out while women shout out, shout out Rihanna. So, at this point, I'm like, I'm getting my son ready because we have to go to an Easter egg hunt Ugh. at the fucking thing. And, you know, my mind's crazy. Uh, how could you run like, Easter eggs? She's like, while, I have this you know? going on. I have that going on. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe let's wait. I know you have an appointment. Maybe we can talk after. Okay. She goes, okay, that sounds good to me. I'm so sad. I hit up so-and-so last night. He didn't answer guy. any of my... Yeah, he's, he's gone. So-and-so equals the dead person. So she's like, he's not answering any of my text messages. I really want to see him because he's leaving the state because he's in the military. He's getting stationed someone else in two days. I really wanted to spend the night with him. Text messages. Text messages. She goes, I really haven't hung out with him lately because I'm starting to like him so much. I can't much. believe you didn't respond to her. I go, what the fuck is going on? I go, stop. I go, honestly, you need to come to my house right now and we need to talk. Like, if never mind the appointment that you have, like, it doesn't matter. So... On the way to my house, she's getting text messages from her ex-boyfriend. She's not opening them. 
because fuck him. So she comes to my house and <clears throat> she's like this happy like thing. And the uh, whole time, the whole time, all I'm thinking is even brutal. even the night before and the morning of, it's like our. Re I I'm thinking of it like the planet, right? You're going around, right? We're spinning, right? right. We're spinning. Well, well, you're rotating as you're rotating. Well, but it doesn't matter. But we're going around, right? So, like, my reality and her reality, I felt like was like this. I was just a little bit ahead of her in the fact of reality of life, right? I knew something was going on before her. So, we're like this. She's traveling Whoa. right behind me. And she's in this small window of time where she's delusional right. and ignorant to what ignorant. is a... Is a was about to happen, and I'm all of a sudden gonna speed her up to my level, and I just, I, I wanted to keep her like in that bubble of ignorance, like because she was, how do you tell somebody? It was the worst. Oops. So she comes over, and I'm like this. She grit. Good night. She holds my arm. She harm to hold my hand. She goes, Oh my god, man. I like, Are you okay? And I'm just like, listen, what I'm going to tell you is going to make you so sad and it's going to make you so upset and I hate to be the one to tell you and I hate that I even have to tell you and I'm so sorry and I love you with like all of my heart and I don't even know, but I'm like, my ex-boyfriend called me and he told me that so-and-so has passed away. They found him and that's it. And she just looked at me and she's just like, what? No. And she just started crying and it was just like, it was like oh. terrible and it was like the worst thing I ever had to experience That's in my like whole... That's like some movie shit. It was, like, that? it was like the worst thing. How does that happen it in real life? It was the worst thing that I ever had to tell my best friend in the whole fucking world. That's brutal. It was horrible. It was so horrible. And that's what I've been dealing with this past week. And it's not like me. It's not me like, oh, like I don't Ugh. care about me. But like my best friend is like going through this. And she's so this. such a and she's sweet, like, I can't. sweet soul. <laughs> like nothing bad deserves to happen to her. Also, it's like, all right, you're an asshole. Yeah, you're an, so. No, she's like the sweet. She's and you such don't a even sweet know. golden. She's been goose. going to his front door every. And I don't mean to laugh, but she goes every night and she lights these fucking candles. And I go with her and I'm like, how many nights are we gonna light these candles? And she's just the sweetest. Like, she's just the sweetest. And I hate, I hate it. That I had to be the one to like put this. Brutal. She had three days before that. She had spent the entire day with him. They went by the beach and oh. they had lunch and they went shopping and all of it. And I was just like, uh, and, and you it's know, just, it, and it's just. And now he's dead, huh? Yeah. Still. It's not funny. It's horrible. It's horrible. I was just trying to lighten the mood a little bit. <sighs> needless to so say, needless, don't do so, drugs. So it's rough. So okay, it's rough. it's rough. Just don't do drugs. I know. No, no. But I'm to don't the point do where drugs. I don't even want to smoke weed because I'm like, is the weed is the weed laced with fentanyl? Like I don't even well, know what's going shout on out, anymore. Well, shout out uh, Demi Lovato. So don't do drugs if you can't do drugs. Does that make sense? No, because that's like you saying never don't know. drink. It's like no, if you're an alcoholic, don't drink. No, but you never know. What do you mean you don't It know could that? be that one bump or that one drink oh, or course. that one. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't know. Like, you, no one's better than anyone else. Like, no one has a better No one's better than me. And I know that for a fact. No one's better than me. But also, I also know that I'm not better than anyone else. You know what I mean? It's just tragic. You understand? It, yeah, it's it's a tragic, tragic day. That sucks. Horrible. That's tough. That it fucking was. blows. Yeah. Fruits, my dude. <sighs> Yeah, so that's what made me think of it when we talked about DMX, OD, yeah, and so that whole Everyone, thing, guys, so. just say no. I should have worn my shout out, shirt tonight. Shout out, um, what's her name? Mary Reagan? Oh, Some no, bitch. it's not Mary. Some it's bitch. definitely Reagan. Nancy! There it is. Shout out. All right. Um, all right, well, let's bring it to a little, uh, a uh, different note. Um... Do you remember how I told that story last week about the... Uh, oh! What? The girl? Yeah. Did you message her? No, not yet. Uh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I thought of you, I was like, she's going to be pissed. I didn't, but I will. Wait, I, pro I promise I will. Um, hello? But, but it made me think of um, another funny... It, it has no, no, connect, no connective tissue except that it was in Cortland and it was a female. Mm. So it made me think of another story that it was very funny, at least to me. I'm going to tell it as the person who who POV, who, who POV. found who found me. Is that what that means? POV point, point of view. view. Yeah. Right. A lot of good POV. POV points. of who? Of my friend Nate. Okay. He lives in the house with us like in me. Portland. Yeah. So, 
I'll tell you how what he what he told me. Okay. And it involves me at the end, but so Nate's at Nate's at the bar, we're all together. Yeah. And uh he says I he says I look at him and I say, Listen, I'm gonna go back. Like I got something to do. And normally when I say that to him, he knows that I have a female coming back to the house. So he's like, All right, bro, like I'll see you when I get back to the house, right? Yeah. So he lets me go, he chills there. A couple hours later he's walking back, you know, he's had his fun. He goes back to the house, first one back of everyone else. He's like, oh, shit, John Anthony's home. Like, let me go up to his room. He lives on the first floor. He goes up to the third floor. He's like, oh, John Anthony's home, you know, because he went home early. Let me go see what's up. At this point, I have no door on my door because, mm. because you know, fighting Things ensued. Happen. So I have just like a sheet that's like thumbtacked in, like a black sheet so you can't see or anything. So he's like, he's like, oh, shit, I forgot that he had a girl coming over. Right? So he's like, uh, let me just make sure the coast is clear before I go in there and we start. And I start, you know. Shit get get riled up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's like, he's like listening, he's like listening close, and he hears like. He thinks so, you're having so, like a so slim So he, gym. so he is, he's like, oh shit, like this is gonna be hilarious. Like I don't have to break into a door, because like a funny thing we would do was like videotape or like or knock and like run, That's or, like you know, porn. immature immature shit. Like like we knock. The, if the woman we'd, doesn't consent, we're now talking. Like porn. like like we'd bang out the door, like run away, like you know, to interrupt, like just be stupid, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm-hmm. But I don't have a door to bang on, so he's like he's laughing like it'll be it's gonna be hilarious. He gets he gets like his phone out ready to like rip it open and like jump in and be like a dick, right? So he he's hearing me, he's hearing he's hearing it. He rips open the curtain, and he's videotaping. And I'm sitting there with about three pounds of boneless wings. Oh my god! I love- <laughs> slurping down the barbecue sauce and shit, and he looks at me and he. He laughed so fucking hard. He, he passed out, drops to the floor, and he's still videoed. So I'm like, what the fuck? I'm wasted. And I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, dude, I thought you were in your order, girl. He thought she was slurping me, and I'm really just slurping barbecue sauce oh off of chicken wings. And if I that's not a perfect uh, indication of who I am as a human being, then I don't know what is. Also, someone died today. Rest in peace. Your turn. Who else died today? I don't know. That guy, hopefully not the MX. Well, that guy died last week. My best friend's grandmother died the other day. So my my one of my best friend's grandma died when I came back from the yeah, thing. That was three, three weeks ago. Three brutal. Yeah. Everyone's dying. Guys, just hold on. You know. Sad. Ugh. Yeah. But we have a couple of things to look forward to. We have I have two weddings coming up, like we've talked about, mm-hmm. which is going to be absolutely electric. Like I'm really I'm really excited. It's going to be the first time that, like, all of us as a family can really get out and, like, have some fucking good old-fashioned fucking fun. You yeah, know I have to find a dress to wear. I, I already know what I'm going to wear, and it's like, it's like, you know what it is? It's like, it's it's unfortunate, but it's also is fortunate. Because it's unfortunate that I just have better style than most people. people but it's But it's, but it's fortunate that it's like, oh, it's an obese person, so it's like... I come Still down to your level, time. but I, I don't stun on you. It's like, because at the end of the day, it's like, he's obese and I'm skinny. But... I just dress, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, that's ironic because I'm quite the opposite this year. I've lost a ton of weight and I'm wearing a nobody's completely noticed. scandalous dress. Well, so, here's the and deal. Lynette and here's my just... niece already tried to tell me, oh, you can't wear that. I mean, that's a silver and silver's close to white and the bride is wearing Silvers. white. Listen, you can't do that. If I decide to wear, you wear I, silver? If I decide to wear an ivory dress to the wedding, I'm I not wear what with I you. want to wear. Okay? And we've also decided that we're going to stay in the I same wouldn't. hotel room. Might as well. Might as well just save, save a little money. money. Whatever. I'm How funny her. would it be? I would. If I had the bitch and I bring her up and all of a sudden you're getting fucking Well, I'll lock the door husband. to the top lock. You have to figure it out. <laughs> How funny would it be if I bring her in and you're getting throttled fiance. by your husband? At that point, everyone's just going to go call a spade a spade and let's just both have a little Honestly, Charlie, let's stop talking about it because you're fucking with my juju. And like, I know nothing more. Honestly, we probably won't bang or we're definitely going to make out. We're definitely going to make out. We're definitely going to make out, like, outside in the parking lot. I just hope you're... Are you ready? <laughs> like, I've never been more excited to win something in my life. You know what I was thinking? I don't know. Did I say this at some point on the pod? But, okay, I'm not, like, juicing myself up because I I have... No one has a lower opinion of me than myself. Right. Right. But, I, you know what? I, I think I found out what it really is. And I think it's just... When I'm in a bar or something, or, like, when I'm in, like, a close quarters with, like, a female... I think when they're looking at me, they forget 
the rest of my body? And they just, they go, oh, it's a handsome fucking Puerto Rican oh, so guy. Oh, like a really cool person. You know what I mean? But yeah. you, uh, whatever, obviously, I get that. But, so like, yeah, so, I, so I think if I get her in, in tight quarters, you know what I'm saying? If I get her in a fucking elevator, it's fucking over, listen, baby. You have the room. You just, we have to listen, listen. If I, get her, if, I, if I get her in an elevator, babe, listen, babe, it's fucking over, okay? You catch me in an elevator, you're going to fucking be pregnant by the end of the oh night. Oh, my God, and that's what... stop being pregnant. That's no, too much. No. She's on birth control. You don't know that. I don't know. I'm not on birth control, and I just asked you five minutes ago, where is my period? I don't know where it is. You know what's super crazy is that my period has been a little irregular, so it's not Am I going to have to like... cut this? No. I'm just saying that it's just... No, I'm definitely not pregnant, but it's just like an, as a female, like when you don't get your period, like you automatically start panicking. It's like, did the Holy Spirit come over me? Am I now the Virgin Mary? Well, it is Easter. It's kind of like, what's well, happening? Well, that's a great segue because shout out Easter. Easter and shout out is Jesus. coming up. Because, you know. Thank you, Jesus. You know, okay, well, shout out Jesus. Mm-hmm. And shout mm-hmm. out Easter. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, who does who does you know? Uh, uh, how do you say artificial insemination better than Jesus? No one. The nobody. Whole, she didn't even. She didn't even fuck she, nobody. Nobody even touched her. Can I don't know who this man is. I have never seen that man. So she's a virgin and then she has a baby. How that works, uh, DNA wise? Or I hope that shit wise? never fucking happens to me because that would be some bullshit. That would, would be a- some bullshit. Could you imagine? Nope. I would be like, real. what well, the sorry. motherfucking fuck? I'd be like, you better do something with that because I wasn't even a part of that. Right. I didn't, even, get, I didn't even do get, all that. Right, because if you think for a fucking second. And we'll be back. And we're back, guys. Oh, quick break, but we're back. And we really do. How great was that sponsor? Amazing. Is it the best? Do you think it's the best that we've ever, ever had? seen? It, it's my personal favorite. Mine too. I know we have, we have so we're many. We're subscribers. Every we are, month we, we get this product. We're right, every month we get the product. Revolutionary, it's, really. It's, it really has turned around my life for the it better. Really has. I've lost thirteen pounds since you. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Yeah. Are you done with the with the armband and the, the whole? I'm checking the time. All right, guys. Yeah. Once again, we're back with another uh, uh, segment. Sure. Another segment. Yep. The energy is high because you wow. know. This one is a little fucking personal for me, it and it's a little fucking personal. personal. You know what I mean? Because if you know what, because on, on one hand, fuck you, and on the other hand, also fuck you. Look, she's look yawning. Light. Look at that light. What about yeah, it? It's, it's flickering. flickering. Who cares? Focus, I'm a guys. Another rep, another fucking segment of best of this week. It's best of. I think my notes ready. <laughs> It's it's old school Disney Channel stars, okay? That and it's also an ultimate rivalry. Ultimate rivalry. I mean, guys, this goes back to the dawn of the century. It does. Okay. Of the century. In this corner, I and I'm partaking, and I and I have chosen to choose. I mean, I, I understand that. Ooh, ding 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 ding. That's what happens in the beginning of a fight, okay. right? In the beginning. And of I understand. Action. I understand that the person that you chose is 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 iconic. In, is, is iconic and is in the pantheon. And I won't deny that, but all I'm saying is, it's not that I hate your person, it's that mine is better. Mm -hmm. And I'm on the corner of Christina Aguilera. Britney. Up against... Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Can't even fucking compare. Okay, well, that's that's cute. That's adorable. Do you want to start? I start last time. Do you want to start? You can start. Okay, I'll start again. And I wrote some things down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, Christina Mm -hmm. Aguilera, Mm -hmm. when you hear that name, Christina Aguilera, you just get... Transport it back to a better time, a better, a better dynamic, better TV. You know, you're watching MTV when you get home. You're watching TRL, true music, true artistry, and just an absolute powerhouse of a singer. Okay, and and I'm not gonna knock anything about about her until she goes, but I'm gonna give you why I think Christina Aguilera is head and shoulders above Britney Spears. Number one, she. Can you just riddle me this? How many Grammys do you think Christina Aguilera has? Five. How many Latin Grammys does she have? One. You want to know why? Because she spans the globe. She's a global sensation, and there is no denying that. If she had one American Grammy, that'd be great. She has five American Grammys and one Latin Grammy. Also, 
uh, she's a Sagittarius, okay? Just like me. The best sign that's out there. December 18th, uh, and, and, and we're just very close in age, and we just love each other, and I just respect her. Also, wait, wait, wait. Christina has won how many Grammys? When it's your turn. No, no, no I just want to remember. Five. Okay. And one Latin. So that's a total of six. Okay, great. Cause, uh, that's fine. That's any time. Okay. She's also a New Yorker. What's better than a New Yorker? We're New Yorkers. We love New Yorkers. She's a Spanish New Yorker. You should identify with her, but no. You sold out to the fucking white man, and shame on you. And shame on you. Your if fucking ass says that. Listen, they, call me po they don't call me Pocahontas for nothing, okay? Yeah, because you get raped by John Smith. That's why. Because okay. you succumb to the white man easily. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. she's a New Yorker. Guys. Should I just remind you of a, a little song? A little, not many people know it. It's called, uh, I don't know, uh, Genie in a Bottle? Okay. I mean, I'm a genie in a bottle. You gotta let me know right That was on number one on TRL for weeks. Weeks and weeks. Genie in a Bottle is one of the most iconic. You think of 90s, you think of Genie in a Bottle. No, you don't There's no other genie. decade. Nobody well, yeah, thinks okay. of Genie in a Bottle. You, okay. When you think okay. of 90s, you think of mm -hmm. Genie in a Bottle. No, you okay? don't. Okay? No, so, no, you don't. So, one of the greatest decades ever, she has some of the greatest songs ever. Genie in okay. a Bottle. Then she goes, What a Girl Wants. What a Girl Wants. girl needs she's empowering women she is a voice for women hey sometimes i want to fuck sometimes i'm gonna fuck you you're not just gonna fuck me i'm gonna fuck you and that is the essence of that song empowering young women to go out there and just say get what they want you know stop being victims and go out there and you be the hunter or you understand laura croft come on over come on over baby hey, boy, don't you know i got something going on if that doesn't get you riled, riled up and jazzed up, nothing will because you have no soul. I mean, I'm talking about. Here's the difference between Britney and Christina Aguilera. Don't bring you up have, my girl. No, you talk have, about yours. Talk about yours. Fine. You have pop hits. She has anthems, and I know you what? know what it is. Anthems. Oh, anthems. I'm talking about stadium anthems where everyone right, joins in. Everyone knows. Everyone sings right, it. Done. Not even close. And it is. I first another song that comes to the top of my mind. I am beautiful, okay? I am beautiful in every single way. <laughs> Number one. It was in the most iconic film of the night of of, of our generation, Mean Girls. Mm. Okay, was Britney in any is it was any mute any mute any uh, movies? No. She was in the most iconic teen film in the history of the world, Mean Girls. That song would later come on to be the anthem of the LGBTQ plus community because I am beautiful no matter, no matter what you say. Because you want to know something? Words, they won't bring me down. They won't bring me down today. Okay. Okay? So that's another thing, and you have to, and you okay. know that's a true fact. Okay, that's fine. That's another true. Also, okay, one of the most iconic Disney songs out there, Reflection Not in Mulan. Iconic. Not that Reflection iconic. in Not Mulan? That I Iconic under the sea. I just can't wait to be king. Or whole new world. Those and are right, iconic. And right in there is reflection our in guests, Mulan. Be our oh, that's interesting. You say that because in the in the in the, in the climate in the climate that we're in now, you're really not gonna stand with the Asian community. And I'm they're just, only has nothing that's interesting. to do with the Asian community. That's really that's Mulan has nothing to do with the Asian community. That's interesting. No, that song that you're talking that's about. Interesting. Mulan has nothing to do that's interesting. That's a wild take okay, that you're taking right now. That's a wild take you're taking. And I said, I said. I stand with the Asian community, and so does Christian so Aguilera. Do I, so do I. Shout out Reflection. Still don't Shout you know what's so fascinating Shout out Mulan. is that Christina Aguilera is not even Asian, and she's saying that song. But Shout okay. out Mulan. She's not also, was was Britney Spears in any movies? Yes, Crossroads. Was she, she was in you Crossroads. You want to know what my, how long ago was that? 2022. 2002. <laughs> 2002. Fucking she 30 years from now. Okay, really? Because you know what Christina Aguilera was in? Mulan, obviously. The Never remake that it. just came out. Never saw it. The one in 1998 just came out. And also the Emoji it. Movie, which your f***ing son watches. The Never Emoji Movie, she was in it. Okay? Newsflash. Voiceover. Also, she's a mom. Okay? She's a philanthropist. So is, so she has beautiful kids. So is also, she's... So is Brittany. She's... Okay. Not only is she on the level of, of all time 
pop charts, right? <laughs> because being a pop star, oh, yeah. this being, a pop star being a Tell pop star, like being a pop star, being a pop star. As me. someone who has an experience, being a pop star is yeah. great and all dandy, yeah. but it takes something else for you what to be to be recognized by some of the greatest vocalists like of who? all time. Like who? Oh, like who? oh, really? Yeah. Really? Christina Aguilera is, is, is on the same level vocally? As 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 Britney Spears, is that really what you're here to say? No, no, no. you're saying she's been recognized by some of the greatest pop stars. So who is it exactly? Celine Dion. Shout Celine her out in her Dion. Grammy in her Grammy nomination. Celine Dion, probably the third best singer in the history of the world. She's probably up there. Not. She's up there in the pantheon of voices of all time. It's her. It's Celine. It's Whitney. And and the, and and the list ends there. Where's Britney Spears? Where is she in a fucking nut house where her dad's spending her money, okay? okay so so fucking riddle me that. Okay. I'm not I'm done. done. I got two more, a couple more things. Also, mm -hmm. I'll, you know what? I'll save my rebuttal no, for, no, for no, the no, other no, it's round. No, 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 it's not rebuttal. You're, it's your turn. Well, no, no, because it has to do with no, your... No, so you take no, the floor, no, Your no, Honor. No, 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 I no, yield. No. You're not safe. No. I yield. All right, that means you're closing your case and you're stepping off the stand. You have nothing further to say, Your Honor, correct? No, because there is cross-examination. Oh, so finish it. No. That's, no, this is cross-examination. This is not a cross-examination. It's not. Opening statement? Okay. All right, so... I clearly picked Britney Spears because Britney Spears is the fucking OG. Ridiculous. All right, I'm going to start off by asking the defendant, who would you define as the prince of pop? Michael Jackson. Great. Now, who has been defined as the princess No, of prince pop? is probably... Uh, no. Nope, you've already answered your question. Prince is Justin Timberlake. The oh, king. here we go. The king. Here we the go. king is Michael here Jackson. We go. The king is Michael Jackson. Okay. The prince is Justin That's Timberlake. Fine. Oh, and is Christina the jester or... Okay, yeah, so Christina doesn't fall in that category. So we would just say... Where does Britney, Britney come in? She's the princess of pop. Says Are you? Who? Says everyone in America. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding Outrageous. me? I haven't heard a That's single, insane. a single person That's say insane. that she's a princess. Are you of kidding? Pop? Okay, wait. How many Grammys does have Christina have? Six. Six. Britney has eight. Okay. Boom. Barely. Okay. Ba nope. Eight is eight. Six is six. Two more. Listen, we can't fight the numbers here. Okay. So I want to start off by saying that that Britney Spears' songs, her energies are always just like a level higher. So we have, I mean, how many songs does everybody know of Britney Spears? Oops, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Hit me, baby, one more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. Toxic. Drive me crazy. Drive me crazy. Circus. Okay, womanizer. Like the list goes on and on and on and on. Christina, you're like, oh, she did. Your Honor, she, just she did I just want to answer. Overruled. Just want to enter into evidence. Oh, the only reason why she knows those songs is because I just played them for her before the podcast started and put that into into. My into, son, you know what's so crazy? My son knows. That's those a songs. fact. My son knows because those. of his uncle. Okay. So, Hit Me Baby One More Time and Oops, I Did It Again were two of the best-selling albums of all time, making her the best-selling teenager of all time, okay? This is not just who has the better teenage years. Who is better okay, no. over no, I'm starting all. At, no, I'm starting and at the beginning. I'm starting at the beginning, okay? Did Christina have a Las Vegas residency? I'm trying to figure that out. Along with J-Lo, did she? Did Christina? Okay, no, she didn't. So, Br but Britney did. I need a pen! Britney had six number one albums on the Billboard um, Top 100, okay? She's the second artist after Mariah Carey to debut two or more songs on the Hot 100, okay? History in the making behind Mariah Carey. Okay, okay. listen to Wikipedia. Right. Okay, yeah, okay, enough with Her the Her Blackout word. album made it to the rock and, rock and roll, because we know she's pop. She made it to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay. You know who else is no, the no, Rock and Roll Flame Flame? You know what? Did Christina you know who else? No, 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 Poison. Because no, 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 no. you know Rock of Love. Fuck off the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Ooh, okay. Fuck wait, off. Wait, uh, Fuck Michael, off. Michael Jackson's Vanguard, video Vanguard Award. Who did that go to? For what? Britney. For what? Went to Britney. For what? Who kissed Madonna? For what? Wait, wait. Who kissed Madonna? Oh, Your Honor. I'm so glad you brought that up. Britney. Oh, because you fucked up. Because now you fucked up. No, no, no. Stop. No, no, no. No, no, listen to me here, because you want to know why? Because she's a fucking fraud. 
Your Honor, she's a fraud. Because she all she did was look it up. Because if she if if she really knew that, she would know. Who who does she kiss first? Because you wanna know? They're on the stage together. You know, it's it's so Christina crazy. Aguilera and it's Britney Spears and it's okay. Madonna. Let's ask who this. kisses who guys, first? Guys, do you guys kisses, want do you guys She kisses okay. Christina? Yeah, well, she, first. Goes like this. she goes like this to Christina. That, that just proves so you guys, didn't know what the so fuck guys, was going on. Do you want your dick licked? Oh, you're lost. Do you want your dick you're licked or do you lost. want it sucked? You're okay? lost. Because Christina lost. licked it. You didn't even it. know that. Britney sucked it. Britney did the better kiss with Madonna. That's the one that you made headway. You didn't even know that. You didn't even know that. I watched it. That. But the thing is, it's so crazy is that the media didn't bring up Christina at all. You want to know why? Because she's so irrelevant and no one cares. Oh, please. Okay. She's the youngest artist to ever get a star. In the in the Hollywood's okay. fucking um. You pay fame. for those. No, it's on. It's on a ceremony. No, Amanda, no. you're wrong. I know because no. because I know you pay for those. What was um? You pay for oh, those. I wasn't allowed to interrupt yours. Okay, right. I wasn't allowed to interrupt sure. yours. Okay, sure. So when I think about the VMAs, when you think about iconic um. Oh, Go ahead. Um, performances. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm trying to think. Go Is ahead. everybody? I'm a Everybody knows that I'm a slave for you. When Brit when Brittany came out and she had a snake. When and what was Christina's? When the highlight of your life is that you brought out an illegal rainforest animal and it had nothing to do with your you singing talents, you know that there's a fucking okay. issue because it was a snake that got the intention. Was it her vocal ability? You know what Christina Absolutely got, not. You know what Christina's biggest fucking um, VMA. Fucking performance I am beautiful, or appearance so that's inspirational is when she generation. decided to come out with fucking dreads, with a mini skirt, with a shirt that had her tits hanging Crazy. out, and she had to give an award to Eminem. And the only reason she got any clout was because it was associated with Eminem. So that doesn't even fucking count. And oh, so you're saying her just to Britney's, finish off of that? I would like moment. to say, I would like to say that Britney Spears has sold over 260 million records, over 100 million singles, and over 100 million albums worldwide, making her one of the best-selling artists of all time. The best selling teenage his in history and the fourth best selling female artist of all times, according to Nielsen Music, Billboard, Rolling Stone, and Forbes. You done? Also, according to the, she's the, reading. the Recording Industry Association of America, the RIAA, she's the 15th <laughs> best selling album artist of all time since Nielsen began. Okay, you done? Okay. Are you done? She also has over 40 million certified albums. Britney Spears has also recognized as the best selling artist over the 200s. Over the 200 decades, she and is the best selling female artist. What does that even mean? She can't even read. The 2000s. She can't even read. The 2000s, and the best selling female artist of the first decade of the 21st century, as well as the fifth overall. She was she ranked as the eighth artist of the 2000s by the billboards, okay? Are you done? She's ranked sixth on Forbes' list of the 100 most powerful and influential celebrities. Okay. Are you done? I am. When the highlight of your career is getting dumped by a man and him making a Grammy nominated record after you, embarrassing. Number two, number Eminem two, number two, her. your second biggest thing of your career is that you had a fucking snake on stage. Whoop de do. And what else? And what's Christina's? Pure, pure talent. No. She has a gr one of the greatest voice that we will ever see. You will live and die without hearing more people better than her at singing. Live better by and who die. Standards. The world standard. That's not what the, the world that's standard. That's not what the billboard the says. World, hey, that's listen, not what the, the world That's not what the standard. money says. Okay? You got dumped by Justin Timberlake, didn't you? Oh, you cheated on him, didn't you? With who? who? Cares? Kevin fucking Federline? What does that have to do with anything? No. You lost your kids. You lost your kids because you were unfit. Because you were unfit. You know who do maintain we're gonna your do excellence? That. We're going to do mom yeah. shaming because yeah. that is something I'm not. You want to main. You want to maintain. You want to maintain celebrity. Look at look at Christina. No. No one's heard of no her. No travesties. Oh really? Because she was a she was a she was a the, the judge. Of, she was a judge of the she Voice for the past <laughs> ten years. Only the second highest rated show on ABC's. Nobody network. watches the Voice. Like well, literally no. One. She was in the spotlight, and she did it with grace, and she did it with no. honor, and she did it with respect, Hit and she did it with dignity. Baby, dignity. One more time. Yeah, play it backwards. It says she wants to did fuck his cousin. It again. And everyone knows that. Me against the music, toxic. Every time, blackout. Give me Please. more pieces of me. Circus, womanizer. She's not. She can't even take care of herself. 
she's fine. She's in a comatose state and her dad's spending Christina, her money. Christina Aguilera probably shoved her head up her vagina. We don't even know what's happening to her. She would be living in Uganda. And we wouldn't even know because no one cares about what's Christina. What's wrong with Uganda? Aguilera. The fact that no one cares about Christina. Go ahead. Christina, what's wrong with Uganda? The fact that she, Go ahead. The fact that she Go can ahead. leave the country and no what's one will What's wrong with Uganda? Even, she, no one will even notice. Amanda, your no person really is making cares. YouTube videos and Facebook videos crying for us. Hi, I'm Brittany. What's going and on? And Millions spin, of people. Spin, spin, spin. And millions because of people she's watching. sick and she needs help. No. She's sick and you're going to sit no. here. Amanda, admit she needs help right now. Oh, you, she's she's, she's not even she's not even in charge of her own faculties. It's okay, an embarrassment. When you're a fucking kid star, like a lot of things happen in your life. So you was Christina. She was on the fucking Disney Channel. Christina wasn't as popular as oh, as, as, as Britney. That's what brings oh, it back oh, to this point. Please. She was Are you fucking J.C. Chazé okay, before exactly, anybody. And Britney was Ju Justin Timberlake. You and who that, dropped okay, two? Who's who gonna, dropped okay, two? Like, Wait, wait. Cry Me a River? Me, baby, one of the greatest one times ever. Pigtails. Schoolgirl outfit. She was 15. Versus Genie she in a Bottle. Oh, it's literally oh, no please. comparison. Oh, oh, please. There's no comparison. Oh, please. There's you're what? No. Like, I, like, I don't even you care know. because there's everyone watching this. You is know like, it's yeah, ridiculous. it's Britney Spears. And, like, no one even thinks that Christina is bigger than Britney. In totality, it's Christina Aguilera. No. And you no. know it. And I know it. And everyone knows it. That's going to be a no for me. Amanda, she can't even wipe her own ass right now. She's literally a zombie. No. Her dad spends her money because she's trapped. Hashtag free Britney. I'm with you. I sympathize for her, I'm but she's she's gone. Right. No. She's gone. Where's Christina? It's over. No one knows. It's over. No one's ever heard you of Christina. Bring up, you know what's funny? It's no cute. One's ever it's real heard of cute. Christina. It's real cute what you did no there. One's heard of because you wanted to bring up the, VM, the, the, the VMAs when she had a great... What about the other one? Where it was, it was apparent to me... Mm -hmm. It was apparent to you, mm -hmm. and it was apparent to every parent mm -hmm. that watched it. She was on some sort of drugs. Either way, she, she couldn't went, handle herself. Know. She was going, "Give me, give me more, give me we more." We all know that. Give me, give me. Shut she up. Was done. We all know that Britney she Spears was done. has gone through her turmoil or whatnot. She's not out but yet. Christina, She's still stuck in the swamp. But the fact is, the reason that we even know why Britney went through all of her stuff is because Brit Britney oh, stays relevant. She stays relevant. What's the last song she dropped in music? No, what about Christina, though? Because she did a Mulan song, Where Will My Reflection Show? No one of the one's greatest, impressed. One of the greatest Disney songs no of all impressed. time. When was the last thing Christina did anything other than fucking shove nuts in her cheeks and make it look like she's a fucking chipmunk? Really? We want to know. The people want to know. What has Christina done? She's on The Voice. What is she? She's on The Voice. Okay, I never what is, seen what is she? What is, she, what is, your, what is your girl on? Britney's She's trapped in a fucking money, cell. Honey. She's making money? She's trapped in her fucking dad's basement. She has a making face of hey, What's your favorite ice cream? Really? Because yeah, mine's when you're peanut. Peanut. Cheers, you can do that. You can talk about peanuts. I mean, she's, she's unwell. She has a super... She's unwell. She has a super, and everyone knows it. She has she's a super unwell. successful perfume yourself. line. Oh, please. That's a fucking corporation. It's a corporation that oh, but it's her, they push her, her name fucking on face it. She hasn't left her father's compounds since fucking 1999. Right? But her name's on it, right? But her name's on it, right? Okay? Right? She hasn't left the comp... She can't even drive. Last time we saw her in a car, she was attacking it with a fucking umbrella. Because she's a psychopath. That was 13 years ago, Johnny. She hasn't can't. left the house since. She's in a cage. Can, you can't grow She's and in learn a cage. from that. Okay. And let's get into a boxing match with booty shorts oh, on. and please. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Yeah. No one yeah, wants to be dirty you want to be. What are you expressing? What is she expressing? Hey, my Everything. favorite my favorite Oreo okay. is the original Oreo. Okay. Fuck okay. off, Brent. Okay? okay? Enough out of you. You don't have the snake anymore. Justin left you by the side. For real me this. I don't know. Uh, you ever hear of, um, 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 uh, Jessica Biel? Yeah. Of course, so he didn't leave fuck, her for her. So fuck and off. And Jessica Biel's corny as fuck. Just, now, Your Honor, now that's She's erroneous corny. and that's erroneous on both counts. She's Jessica corny. Biel's corny? Yeah. Look at me right now. Look at me in my fucking face. Jessica Biel's corny? Look at you. She's Not looking only. down. She's corn. Jessica Biel's corn. corny. She's corny okay. actually on. Okay. How many hours the... did you wash of Seventh Heaven, you fucking sell huh. out? How many hours of Seventh Heaven did you watch? Jessica you Beale, fucking sell out. Jessica sell Beale, out. Turn on the cup. Yeah. Jessica Beale, Seventh on Heaven. The I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Fat tits. Fat ass. Corn. Please. Boys. Please. My case here is done, Your Honor. I would like to believe that Britney Spears is the most. She's the household name. She has the most money. She has the better songs. Everybody knows who the fuck she is. Oops, once, I did it again. Once talented, Your Honor. Womanized. What? what? 
Okay. That's not even how it goes. Okay. One is talented. One is a simple. Toxic. Um. You don't even know what. One. She's so lucky. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Keep sliding by the mic because it's gonna sound great. It's gonna sound really good. Oh, baby, Guys, one's baby, talented, one tonight. is a hack, has been a loser, okay, yeah. who's stuck Christina in her basement. has three songs. Genie in a Bottle, Dirty, and um, Reflection. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Womanizer is from a Britney. bad song. Womanizer, woman, womanizer, she's a womanizer. Oh. All right, well, Tell there it goes. Oh, we love you. Britney we appreciate is the best. We know. Okay. We're going to have you guys vote because we all know that Brady is the best. Like, I mean, you can't even fucking compare. It's like comparing. The whole life, though. The whole life. Chick fil A to. Um, no, no, that's a perfect idea. It's Chick fil A and McDonald's. What is better? Saying? What's better? The Chick fil A and McDonald's. The chicken? What is better? For the chicken? What's better? The chicken is Chick better. Chick-fil-A is better. What's more common? McDonald's. And your honor, I rest my case. Not even and I rest my case. No, she okay. just said it. If you're home and you have she to just like, said oh my god, it was this is Britney Spears of McDonald's. Bullshit. It never fucking gets old because it never was mm. real in the beginning. If you know what's we real told, deal if we had food a conversation, and real deal right. soul? Christina Aguilera. And everyone's in That's their house, real right? chicken. And everyone's That's real seasoning. About real spices. Real love. In their real home. power. You have the thing. Ridiculous. If I said, oh my. And everyone knows it. I was listening to that new Christina song. Woman She'd be Iser, like, Christina? Please. And I'd say, She's Mom. had three mental breaks. I was listening to the new please. Britney song. Everyone's going to know who Guys, the we love you. We Britney appreciate is. you. And Thank you. We're, we're I rest so my glad case. that you're here with us today. And uh, we, uh, we... Happy... Oh, happy Easter. We missed Easter. Resurrection. It was last day. week. I'm so sorry. We missed it. We slipped our minds, you know? But, um... Anything Thank you, else? Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And he rose again, and he rose again, and, yep. and also, he rose again. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be. Hallelujah. And we'll talk to you soon. We love you. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll Comment, talk to you soon. Like. Bye. This the way it is. Better wait three and I make sure then. Break your ankles because your paper's thin. Money sign, that's what baby paper is. I don't care about that, though. Gotta, gotta go down, go down low. Got a new single, go down low.